Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I, I want to do uh, part A of my help desk lab for 2025. I want to go over I, I want to go over Active Directory, uh specifically, not Active Directory, but specifically group policy. Obviously, if you new my channel, what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So today we're gonna go over group policy. I made some fun changes on the back end on my Windows 11 desktop, logging in as Mark. I'm going to share my screen and go over some changes I made. So this is what you should know about group policy. Group policy is a great way to control everything that the user is doing on their machine through a through seamless setup. So what I like to do is, and I'm going to minimize this, but I literally went in here. You guys should be able to see my screen. So I literally went in default policy and I made some changes on it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit the refresh button. I'm going to hit OK. And I did make some changes on it. Mind you, you're probably not going to notice it until I actually log in. So, like, I made a change in the wallpaper. I added a wallpaper here. And I was trying to figure out why the, why the wallpaper wasn't working for the dear life of me. So, apparently, you have to give them, you have to give the user read access only to the specific share drive path that you're giving them access to the wallpaper. So I'm going to show you what I did. So if you guys watched my previous video, I installed a guest edition CD, right? So I went to share folders and I looked for this path directory, Kev helped us lab. And what I did was I went into, I have my sample resumes here, but I went to downloads and I literally scroll all the way down, all the way down. And you guys, you guys are, you guys are gonna laugh. I added this wallpaper on the, on the when the login screen. So like, not the login screen, but like when you log in, the wallpaper is this one, and you cannot change the wallpaper for the dear life of you. I disable like you can't change the wallpaper; it doesn't work. Um, and this, you know, my my character has one star. You know, it's a joke. So, I uh, I added that to the Kevin the Kevin folder or the Kevin help this folder. So if you go to, if you go into Kevin and you go into help desk lab, it's right here. So this folder is mapped on my server. So if we go back to the server, you could clearly see that it's right there. So if you open it up, it's literally right there. So what I did was I had to make some changes. So I have group policy open right here. So I, I, I removed the login button, which is enabled right now. And I and I was going to change remove change password so they can't change their password when they when they go and log in. But I'll mess with that later. So here you have screen timeout. So if you want to change the screen timeout, uh you can turn it on. And if you turn it on, then it says wait to enable the screensaver. Specifies I idle must must uh must allow before the screensaver is launched. So you could turn this on. Like I would turn it on if it was me, because I would like to be, I would like to have it on, but like it really depends on the company. Uh for specific screen server. So you could turn this on as well. And it tells you how to add a specific path directory. I'm not turning that on. And here you have a bunch of other stuff. You have uh add and remove programs, display. Uh, you have your desktop. So here is where I added the wallpaper. So I specified the share drive uh, dash dash my dash dc dash zero one kevtech dash wallpaper dash home, which is, a, is actually a share drive per, uh, directory. It's saying like you could add a share drive on it or you could add a Windows file on it. So what I did was I went into my share drives. So I went to local C shares kevtech wallpaper and I added this directory to it. So I actually, if you right click on it and you go into properties and you go into sharing, this is the path directory, but then you have to specify the wallpaper name as well. So if you click on here, it would actually be uh, slash slash my dash DC slash zero one dash kev tech dash wallpaper slash Kevin uh, wallpaper slash home dot G J P G dot J B G. This is like really the specified location. So I added that location. So if you go to properties, it tells you the actual location. The shares location is actually jp.jp. It's confusing it is, but it's not really confusing. But 
You have to give Mark access to it, which is I did. I gave him read execute access. If you go back to wallpaper, I gave him access to read uh read only access as well. So read and write kind of or read actually access. So if it's done properly, uh if Mark logs in, like old jokes aside, and Mark Mark logs in, he should see that wallpaper, which he does see that wallpaper. So I specify two things. The wallpaper, which is on right now. So if you right click here, you do display settings. And sorry, display settings. Sorry. You right click here and you do personalize. Um you could you could mess with you could kind of mess with this and change the color on this, but you can't really change the wallpaper. <laughs> It doesn't give you the option to do that. Let me go to background. I mean, you could try to remove it. And I'm clicking on it. It doesn't work. Blocked. I blocked it. And then I'm using group policy. And I also blocked uh, the shutdown button and the restart button. I blocked on the shutdown and restart button. I only enable the sign out button. So if you go into group policy here, uh, if you specify and do edit, and you have all your preferences here. So I went in here. And I went into the start menu is what I, what I went to. So it says here, force shut to either full screen, full size, start layout, notifications. So I'm just going to open that up real quick. There's a bunch of options here. So you could you could mess with this. User fast startup. Um so here you have display options, personalized options here. Screensaver timeout, it's not on. It's not configured. So here, you have your shutdown options, your net login options, your power options, login options, not configured, group policy options, driver options, display options, a bunch of stuff here. So like, uh, this gets very granular to the point that it's like a lot of information. So like you're like banging your head against the wall because there's a lot of information. Um, because you could pretty much change a lot of stuff. Do not display a login screen, lock lock screen. Um, you have your server, your start menu, notifications. Log on screen, power savings, shutdown options, shutdown. So you see how it gets very, very, very granular to like it gets, it gets insane granular with this thing. So you could play around with this. Like this is log on screen right here. Uh, control alt delete options. This is where I, this is where I remove uh log off, log off options. It's enabled right now. So here it has the option like if you do input control alt, delete, it gives you the option to change password. So if I sign out, and I'm just gonna sign out hypothetically, and I'm gonna go here and turn this on. So then now they should not be able to change their password, and I'm also gonna remove the task manager as well just for just for fun. Um. There's a lot of stuff here. You could see like it gets it gets super duper crazy. Windows, this is all the Windows components because it's a calculator. So this is the Windows calculator app. Um, you have your, your edge as well, he's here. Allow edge swipe, uh, instant search.
it gets it gets super granular. So like if you're brand new to IT, I would recommend you play around with this because it gets very, very, very granular. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. This is this is insane. Uh Windows settings, you mean registries, registry settings. This is the login options I showed you before. Um, group policy, display. So I turn all these three things on. This is enable right here, like remove and prevent, shut down, restart, sleep. This is the one that I turned on. That's what they only, he only has a login option. So if we log in again, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna log in again. Realistically, task manager shouldn't even work. So task bar works. But task manager doesn't work. Uh, to change the password, control, delete, that's probably not going to work now. Yes, yeah, so switch user or lock. So, yeah, you can play around with this. I mean, I'm going to turn it back on or just, or not turn it on, like not configure it. And I'm going to not configure this as well. Uh, and then the log off button, enable right now a log off button remove log off button so you could do that as well um this is a shutdown button I'm gonna put not configure apply and this is like the user experience like you could mess around with this this is sign out right now it doesn't give me the option to do anything else but shut down but this is pretty much group policy in a nutshell you can obviously do other changes in this like it gets super super duper granular there's other stuff you could do. Um, password password policy, obviously. Right click on this. Now all these other options are available. So I'm gonna shut that down. Um, and that's it. Yeah, just wanted to go over some group policy stuff with you. Hopefully that helps out. Like if you see here, there's account lockout policy here. Remember, I made the change for 90 days is right there, seven characters. I am gonna sign out of this and I am gonna. I'm actually going to. And they're giving me the option to the group policy is affecting this machine as well. So I could go in here. Shut down. Minus I. And then go here. We need the computer name. NYDC. Uh, updates. Okay. And that's it. Kill that real quick. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Uh, stop sharing. So yeah, that's it about, that's it for me for today. Yeah. So like, yeah, you can do a lot. Like it's very involved. I don't want to go in too depth with group policy. I should make a video on group policy in depth, but there's a lot of stuff in there that you could mess around with. But anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Give you an idea, good idea how group policy works. You could make some changes on the back end for each individual machine or one machine. Entirely up to you and how you set it up. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday and take care. Bye.